What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipe. Sunday morning, November 12th, 2023, 11.15 in the morning. And about 15 minutes ago, I was walking the dogs, Gigi and Stoli. And I, you know, listened to rocking to some music on my iPhone. And, uh, you know, the music gets a little dim, a little muted. And I see I got a notification on my phone that a customer booked a new job on my website from House Call Pro. It goes, check your app as soon as possible to contact the customer. Look at that, I love it. Now that. I get it, I'm, a, I'm an ambassador for House Call Pro. Um, and listen, nothing is without, you know, the pros and the cons, but the, the positive things with House Call Pro vastly outweigh the few negatives that come with it, like anything, you know? Um, but one of the things I love about House Call Pro is that you can integrate a book now or book online option on your website that brings you to your House Call Pro page where a customer, a client, enters in their information, select which services they want, whether they want to book a plumbing call, an HVAC call, a pool heating call. They already know the, the, the charge to come out. They book it, and as soon as they hit enter, the office gets a notification right on the dashboard and I get a notification right as a push notification to my phone and within seconds we already have the customer on the phone verifying the information confirming they want to book the appointment and book the time for them can't be any easier than that I swear it can't get any easier than that so I call the customer and it's an existing client uh, in Cambier Heights, which is in Queens of New York City. She's got a Burnham steam boiler. A neighbor friend came over because it's cold in her house. I try to get the boiler relit um, and the, the pilot is on, the thermostat clicks, uh, but there's no main ignition. And uh, he thinks maybe something to do with the rollout switch or the uh, blocked vent, blocked chimney. I don't know what the deal is, but we're gonna go over there right now and see what's going on. Sunday morning, going on that emergency service call. Um, and let's see what's going on. I get some footage and uh, hopefully I can give you some content and we can together make the trades great again by delivering prompt professional plumbing, heating, and cooling services to those customers that we serve. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Right, right house? Yes. Correct house. Okay. We're the ones with the problem. No problems, only solutions. Okay, I like the sound of that. Me too. To the right. Okay, it's a big boiler for this house, huh? It is? Yeah. I didn't record a lot of this service call. I'm just gonna fill you in a little bit of detail. We have 175,000 BTU gas-fired Burnham IN6 gas-fired boiler. We have a total of, of nine radiators in the house, um, grossly oversized. Uh, I kind of laid down on the floor like this and I saw that the yellow light underneath the low water cutoff was illuminated, which indicated a low water condition. I opened up the manual feed valve and the yellow light went away and here is the rest of the video. You had a low water condition. The light was on the low water cutoff. It was not sensing water. You didn't have enough water in the boiler. And the automatic feed isn't getting any water. The red light was on because the automatic feed valve was closed. That was closed. This was, this was here. I didn't touch it. Right, right. Right, this was closed. So the red light was on. It was trying to give it water, but it couldn't get any water. So you had a low water condition, and that's why the boiler wasn't running. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Customer got, <laughs> got our hours worth. Um... <laughs> It was actually pretty good, and they ended up uh, they ended up signing up for our twenty three ninety five monthly uh, maintenance plan, where um, we come once a year and we do a tune up on their heating system. So uh, they're basically paying for a tune up over a period of twelve months. You know, twenty three ninety five uh, a month. It's good to cancel, but also builds you know builds and develops that relationship with the customer. But for the business, which is great. But for the business also, you know, develops and you get the recurring uh, revenue. You know, if you have a hundred, you know, maintenance plans, twenty three ninety five a month, you have a hundred of those, do the math. You know, it's a uh, considerable 
uh, income that's coming in. And it also allows me to have, you know, if you have enough guys, enough maintenance plans, you can have a, uh, you know, one guy just doing maintenance calls, you know, from the money that's being rev uh, generated uh, by having those maintenance plans. Anyway, guys, it's Sunday. It's 1238. I got to check windshield washer fluid, reserve fuel, and I'm tired. And I'm actually kind of parched. My mouth is kind of dry and uh, I'm going to go home. I'm tired. I need to go this way. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.